Hey everyone, it's Miss O'Neill. We are back again for religion. So I know there's a lot going on on the board. Don't worry about it just yet. We'll take it down step by step. All right, so I'm looking at the religion pages. Right now I'm on page 214 and 215, if you're following along with me. 214 and 215. You don't have to. You could also just take a listen if you want to. But I have two quick questions before we start our religion lesson for today. So the last time we had religion together yesterday, I ended the lesson by asking you, why do we give each other the sign of peace? After we say the Eucharistic prayer together, we pray our Father, we give each other the sign of peace, and then we sing Lamb of God. But why do we offer each other the sign of peace? Tell me what your answer was. Go ahead and take a little bit, just say it right to the screen. Why do we give each other the sign of peace? That's right, we give each other the sign of peace because we want to be peacemakers. We want to live how Jesus and God want us to live. Right, so what is more peacemaker than that by offering each other a sign of peace right after praying together? Awesome job. And my next question for you is one that you can think about. You don't have to say your answer out loud. Just take a second and really think about it. I want you to think about a time when you were invited to take part in an important event. Maybe you were asked to be a rain bearer or a flower girl at a wedding. How did it feel to be a part of that? If you weren't a rain bearer or a flower girl, think of a different important event you were a part of that you got invited to. How did that make you feel? I want you to keep that feeling in mind. Today we're talking about how we receive Jesus Christ through Holy Communion. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start reading under We Believe. After we pray, Lamb of God, we are invited to share in the Eucharist. The priest holds up the host that has become the body of Christ. The priest says, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. And then we respond all together. Lord, I am not worthy that you shall enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let's go ahead and say that. Uh, bleh, let's go ahead and say that again, but together. I want you to say it with me. All right, are you ready? Lord, I am not worthy that you shall enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Awesome job. Go ahead and give yourself a kiss on the forehead and a pat on the back for that. I'm going to go ahead and keep reading. If we have received First Holy Communion, we go forward to receive the body and blood of Christ. At St. Peter's, even if we haven't received Holy Communion, um, our First Holy Communion, we go up, but we just cross our arms, put our hands on our shoulders, we cross our arms to go up and be blessed. The priest, deacon, or extraordinary minister of Holy Communion shows the host to each person who goes forward and says, the body of Christ, and each person responds, amen, and receives Holy Communion. Then the priest, deacon, or extraordinary minister of Holy Communion may hand the cup to each person, saying, the blood of Christ, and each person responds, amen, and drinks from the cup. While the assembly, or everyone else in the church, receives Holy Communion, we all sing a song of thanksgiving, and we are united with one another. 
What do you think I mean when I say a song of Thanksgiving? Do you think I'm singing a song about turkeys? No, I'm not talking about that kind of Thanksgiving. I'm talking about giving thanks to God for what he has done for us. We have a lot of songs that we sing at St. Peter's for that. Um, one that we might know right off the top of our head is one, um, one bread, one body. Going back to the reading on page 215. Then, there is usually some quiet time. During this time, we remember Jesus is present within us, and we thank Jesus for the gift of himself in Holy Communion. During this time at St. Peter's, we're kneeling down and we're praying in the pews. Cool beans. All right. So, a um, couple really quick questions just to make sure you are on the same page that I am. So, wait a second. What does each person respond when the priest or extraordinary uh, minister of Holy Communion shows the host to her or him? What happens after that person says the body of Christ? What do we say back? Nice, you got it. Amen. And I want you to try to think in your head all the way back to two days ago. What does amen mean? What are we saying when we say amen? And I'll give you a hint. It has something to do with the title of our religion book. Go ahead and take your guess now. Say it out loud. What does amen mean? Awesome. When we're saying amen, we're really saying yes, I believe. So when the priest, the extraordinary minister, or the deacon presents us with the um, bread or the host and says the body of Christ, we respond Amen. Or we respond, yes, I believe. That's really what amen is saying there. Awesome. Go ahead and give yourself a kiss on the forehead, a pat on the back, and that is it for religion today. See you later.